and the Showtime Hotel is one of those primary hits. So today I do think this is gonna really give us some, some traction in our effort to restore some of these communities, and it is a, it's a good day for us. Thank you. As I mentioned, these five lawsuits today, many more to come because of how effective they are. I mean, think again how transformative it is to have buff a property that I mentioned at the outset to go from 150 criminal acts in the course of a little more than a decade to not a single gang-related crime alleged since we filed our case. Think about how that changes a neighborhood. Now I'll say a few words in Spanish, and I'll be happy to take questions. As I transition to Spanish, I do want to say in English what a remarkable experience it has been for me to become the city attorney and work with the team of attorneys that is assembled here who engage in often dangerous activity to assure that these properties are changed so that neighborhoods change. I want to thank them very publicly for that very incredible work. Now, in Spanish. El enforcarnos a propiedades controladas por pandillas es de suma importancia para mí. Hemos mejorado estas operaciones con más atención y mayores recursos. Esta semana, visité cada propiedad desde Ventura Boulevard hasta Vermont Square. Todas ubicadas cerca de escuelas, guarderías, iglesias. Estoy orgulloso de anunciar que abrimos un frente contra propiedades donde ocurren delitos, presentando demandas contra los dueños de seis de estos. Desde que asumí el cargo, he presentado 52 demandas contra propiedades de pandillas y hemos obtenido 58 restricciones legales. Este tipo de lugares Bases de operaciones de pandillas o otras actividades criminales pueden destruir un barrio. Con cada demanda queremos recuperar una comunidad. All right, any questions? <laughs>